Honorable member for Lower Salo. <coughs> thank you, and Honorable Speaker. Um, thank you, Honorable Ministers, with your technocrats for giving money to the Constitutional. Um, my intervention will be very short, Honorable Speaker, because much has been said by my colleagues. Um, the only thing I will try to um, feel across is Gambia is an economy-based country. We need to mobilize our taxations, Honorable Speaker. Um, when we are not paying our tax, all this development that we are saying, it will not happen. Um, Honorable Speaker, the revenue of this country, the chunk is, is from the tax revenue. And when people are not um, paying tax, then we will not move an inch. So we must uphold the Gambians to tighten on their belts and pay tax accordingly. If we need, if, if we need this country to go ahead. Um, Honorable Speaker, I have a question <coughs> that I wanted to ask um, the Honorable uh, Minister. Um, whether there is any policy on, on, on travel expenses. Um, because most of uh, members are talking about this travel, travel, travel. Whether there is any policy on this travel, um, on various ministries. Um, this is the question that I want to ask the minister. Um, um, Honorable um, Speaker, um, these are recurrent expenditures that our own brothers and sisters are feeling on the positions. When you talk of um, defense, these are our own brothers and sisters that are there. The reason why we are here is because of them. They are maintaining peace and they never slept tonight. Honorable Speaker. Um, how much we, the National Assembly, are paid and compared to the a security officer who slept the whole, night, the whole day without sleep? Let's compare uh, that, Honorable Speaker. Depends how many uh, brothers and sisters are, are, are employed in security apparatus. There are many because we are jobless. Every, day, uh, every time National Assembly are complaining, we, we need employment. And then our brothers, they have to, have to um, attain it. Most of them are in this security. It's not their, it's not their risk to be in a security uh, officer. No, because they are jobless. So cutting down debents, I am not agree on that. I'm um, able speaker because we need to empower them. They are jobless. Honorable speaker, these recurring expenditures, let's not touch them. The, I have an issue though. Later, then I will, I will mention the, um, whether the Honorable Minister can uh, make an make, um, uh, adjustment on it to see that um, the, 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 what we want to cut, to put it um, um, face trees and, and walks, whereby everybody are yearning roads and water. I'm Honorable Speaker. Um, two, many interventions are talking about agriculture. How many projects come to Gambia, to this country? How many projects? And how many projects are successful through agriculture? Honorable Speaker. And the Ministry of 
finance cannot make any projection for Ministry of Agriculture based on their program uh, uh, on their programs. No, the ministry must come with their projections that we want to implement this. Then the, the technocrats with the ministers, they, they, they look whether it's necessary that we allocate these uh, projects or not. When if the ministry themselves, they don't make any uh, projection on, on, on programs, I don't think uh, the minister will ask them, this is the program that I want you to do, no. And all projects, and now, in fact, um, Neema Choso are expecting 80 million dollars grant. And the one that was um, end last year, no, this year, sorry, and first step, what, what, what impact they have made to uh, the life of the farmers? They built, though they built uh, feeder roads, but go and see that the feeder roads. We must change our attitudes. Honorable Speaker. Those who, wants, who are holding these um, projects, go and see, go to their houses. They are building story buildings. And they are taking the own projects to their family members. We must change our attitudes. And let's come together. We work for the interest of our country. Go to Rwanda today. How many people are killed? Over millions of people. But um, the, 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 the president there, down there, you, 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 you can see him working because they all bring people together. And today, Rwanda is enjoying. We must change the way we are. And again, when we put somebody in the front of our office, rest, respect the individual. Though accountability and transfer must, must take place, but to also, we, have, we, we should not also try to, um, um, how to call it, um, say a lot of things about, about him. No. Let's create and make that guy, you know, you are representing the people down there. But then, um, it's hard to say, Honorable Speaker. And if, you, if, if we don't change our attitude, even Annabella Suleiman comes to this art, this, 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 uh, this, uh, this country, it will not go. Because if I want this guy to, to lead me, I don't want this guy. No, 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 no. Leadership comes from God, Honorable Speaker. Let's try and join hands and make things possible for Gambians. But then when you talk about this defense and security, they are not sleeping. And the, the, the less paid is 2,700. And we didn't ask how much are we paid. And we never talk about anything in our, our, our salaries and, and our allowances. Are we not all uh, Gambians? Of course we are. They are jobless. This is why they are there. Madam Speaker. So I don't think in this uh, recurrent expenditures we need to cut uh, anything on, on defense. But in, uh, and this, um, how to call it, personal emoluments, I don't think. And when, Madam Speaker, I want the minister to adjust on this because I have seen, and we must commend you on this. Um, the embassies, you, you cut over 240 million, 597,650. We commend you, Honorable Minister, sorry. It's a good job. And these are Gambian people that are, seen, uh, are staying in, 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 in in, in embassies. Though it's only one embassy which was added, that's Geneva. And I want you to tell us why you add Geneva there. Because we are trying to reduce 
then you add Geneva. We want to uh, know why you add Geneva. And we can compress all these embassies, Dakar, Freetown, um, Abuja, with one embassy, who, who will oversee all these um, embassies, if, that, that, that's my uh, version though, if it is possible, to, to minimize the cost of the embassies. Because we need waters and roads, um, Honorable Minister. Um, the data um, budget lands, seminar and workshops, uh, furniture and uh, fittings, travel expenses, um, fuel and lubricant, something like that, office equipment, you know, office uh, hotel accommodation. If we can slice these ones and add it um, to um, fisheries and water resources and works, because I need work, I, I need roads, I need water in my end. Um, if we can adjust on this, um, um, Honorable Minister, and although we must commend you, because you are doing a good job with your technocrats the whole year, you are increasing and you are you are cutting. When you are when you are leading people, ah, you must hear, you must accept everything and take the good ones. Because you, you, you also get a future leader in your house, whereby you, 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 are, you get kids that you expect them to live in this country. So then, I'm not seeing you as a witch hunter. No. You are doing it for the interest of the country. We must adjust you what the level that you are with your technocrat, Honorable Minister. And I must commend you. Any, any day I stand here, I will commend you, Honorable Minister. You don't give me nothing, but I'm, the person that I'm seeing in you, um, you are there for the country, for the interest of the country. Because reusing um, the embassies from 240 million, we must come in, Honorable, Honorable Minister. And, um, Honorable Speaker, much has been said. I will end my intervention here then, because um, since the day before yesterday, we are on this committee stage. Sorry, these committee uh, meetings. I don't think, in fact, the, um, we should go straight to the, to the budget, uh, the committee of a uh, whole house, whereby uh, if you want to adjust there and cut there, then we can do it. It's already, we already meet, Honorable uh, Speaker. Then, on that note, I will take my seat.